Building a strong voice is a process that takes patience and care. There was a time when I never believed I could have a big, strong, resonant voice, but with practice, I went from all by myself to all by myself. Now, I didn't get there overnight. It took a lot of effort and it took a lot of consistency, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to practice so that you can build a strong voice. Now the journey to building this ability to sing with a strong voice is going to be different for everyone, but the exercises are going to be pretty similar. So we're gonna begin by warming up. Now I know this is an exercise that we do a lot and that is because it's probably one of the most useful beneficial exercises. So we're gonna start with the bubble, but if you don't love the bubble or you need something new, I'm gonna give you an alternate option that you can use instead. So first things first, we're gonna start with the bubble and if you haven't done this before, we're just blowing bubbles like this. Now you have to bring a lot of energy into this. You can't go, it's not gonna work. So you wanna make sure that your energy, everything's moving forward. And you can take a slightly dopey stance so that you're not here, but you're um, And it's gonna sound like this. You want every note to sound the same volume. Keep going. Now, if you want something different than the bubble, you can sing the letter V. Which will also require quite a bit of energy from you. So let's do a few more. head back down. Get a good breath. Really anchor that bottom note. Just a couple more. There's our little warm up. Now, the most important thing to remember as you're doing this is you don't want to flip. You don't want to start strong. So you need to keep yourself very engaged with what you're doing. Think straight ahead and work towards a very smooth movement from your lowest note to your highest note and back down again. And the other thing is you don't want to strain. It's not, it's not gonna be like You don't want that either. It needs to feel very free. So keep that slightly lowered larynx with that uh, Keep the breath flowing and you're gonna be good to go. Now we're gonna repeat that same exercise, but we're gonna use something different here. So we're gonna puff up our cheeks like a puffer fish. And our cheeks are gonna be filled with air. So this one I want you to be a little bit more aggressive with. So you don't wanna allow your voice to flip or disconnect. You don't want like you'll know because it kind of feels like um, you sound like a bit like an elephant when that happens. And you also don't wanna go so high that it becomes uncomfortable. So if it gets out of your range, don't worry. You can wait until we begin to descend and join back in. So I'm gonna start here. If you're a low voice, you can join me in octave lower. And it's gonna sound like this. There's a steady flow of air and it's a lot of work. I'm very engaged at my core. My belly expands when I breathe in. It's a lot of effort. We'll do one more and we'll come back down. And back down we go. Anchor 
remember that bottom note? Ooh, couple more. Now, I want you to just speak for a minute and notice how your voice feels different. Um, you might feel kind of, feels like it's more here as opposed to down here. It's, it's a, one of those magical things that happens when you're well warmed up. And I want you to remember how this feels. So you could just be like, hey Lisa, how's it going? And just notice how that feels in your body. This is where we want our sound to be, I guess, I was gonna say this is where we want our sound to be feeling, but that's not a sentence. This is where we want to be feeling our sound when we speak. So if you ever feel like your voice is dropping low and it's getting kind of tired and fatigued, go to these exercises because they're really gonna set you up for success. Okay, so now that you're warmed up, we're gonna move on to some more exercises. So these are gonna help to build our chest voice a little bit, and chest voice is where we speak from. So we don't walk around saying, hello, how are you today? Um, sometimes we tend to sing like that. We might go, somewhere over the rainbow. But chest voice is where we speak. Hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you today? Somewhere over the rainbow. There's the difference. So we're gonna do some exercises to help us get comfortable there. So the exercise I wanna work on is gonna sound like this. Mum, 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 mum. Now, we're singing the word mum, and I want you to make sure your tongue is kind of attached to your bottom gum and teeth area. You don't want your tongue kind of coming back or up. You want it down and relaxed and forward. And I want you just to practice saying the word mum. Mum, mum, mum. Not mum, mum, mum. Mum. <laughs> That's how we're going to sing it. Mum, 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 mum. A sort of a medium volume. Let's do it again. Mum, 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 mum. Now, we're going to do that again, but this time I want you to sing it a little bit louder. So this is where we're going to start to build that strength in our voice. You don't want to be shouting, just a little louder. There you go. So, that's feeling good. We're waking up, we're building some strength. Uh, we're going to move to another exercise. So, now that we've done some work, we actually want to reset and rebalance our voice. And this is really a very important part of the routine. We're going to come back to the bubble, because it's going to help to release any of the strain that we might have built up as we were singing, mum, 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 mum. So, you might find that now your voice is sort of feeling like it's dropped lower. It sounds a bit lower in pitch, um, and you might be feeling it a bit more here. So just be aware of that, and we're going to do a couple rounds of the bubble, and then we'll notice how that feeling has changed. Watch this. Stay energetic with it. say something, notice, I can feel it right away, everything just feels like it's lifted a bit, and that the sound when I'm speaking, it feels like it's kind of more here, coming out my, my eyes, as opposed to drop tone here. So just a really cool way to kind of reset everything so that you're ready to do more work. So, let's go on to the next exercise. All right, so this is one of my favorite exercises. We're gonna be singing the word bub, B-U-B. -B. So again, you wanna make sure your tongue is down and attached to your bottom gum teeth area, and you wanna work on very consistent volume. So it's gonna sound like this. Bub, 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 bub,
bub. Bub, 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 bub. If it gets crunchy in here and you feel like it's going to flip or crack, and so it's like bub, 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 bub. Keep the energy moving. Like, so you want to stay energetic, supported through here, but think a little dopey. See if that helps. Bub, 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 bub. And if that doesn't help, you could try the reverse, a little bratty. Bub, 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 bub. It's going to be different for everyone. I find the dopey helps me. Bub, 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 bub. We'll do one more and we'll come back down. We've got one more building exercise here. So this one is BUP, B-U-P. And this is a bit of an endurance one because we're gonna be repeating this pattern three times and we're actually gonna start it up here. So we're gonna be going and then we're gonna move down. See if you can join me. notes short just a couple more I know I told you that was our last exercise, and it was, but we're gonna repeat it this time with a little bit more volume. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna add a little bit more volume, and it's gonna sound like this. Support it here. Good breath. Two more. Last one. There you go. Now, if you're ever confused about what it means when someone says supported here, just go back to how it felt when you did that puffy cheeks exercise. Place your hands on your tummy. Ooh, you can just do like a big slide. Ooh, you cannot do that without engaging your abs. So that's the energy that you need to be bringing to the exercises. If you're just kind of like sitting here like this, bup, 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 it's gonna be impossible to get the intensity you need. But if you bring that, it's way easier and you're definitely going to be building a stronger voice. So now, you've done the exercises, it's time to cool your voice down. We're going to do that with just a really, really relaxed... We don't want disconnected. When I say relaxed, I don't mean... We're still, we're still here, we're still showing up. But we're just going to slowly move down that scale. We're not in a hurry. And on the inhale, you can almost have like a yawning, like.
feels amazing. So you've done the work. Now it's time to hydrate and rest. If you're still feeling tight or tense here, I would encourage you to do another round on the bubble. Puffy cheeks or the letter V. And you'll know that your warm up or your cool down is complete when again that sound goes from feeling like it's weighing heavy here to feeling like it's lightened up it's raised a little bit into this area of your body it's really really hard to explain that with words that's why I say it kind of feels like you're talking out of your eyes or your nose that's cool those are crazy words to use but it's really hard to like say this is how it feels because that's what it is it's a feeling now we have this routine for you you can download the mp3s we've got one for higher voices one for lower voices so typically female voices or male voices find the one that feels best for you and then practice this every single day and if you have questions, make sure you comment below. So, happy singing!